Hey, welcome back. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing um, a Shigo cosplay. So if you're familiar with the show Kim Possible, um, Shigo is like kind of like the, the bad guy. She like works with the bad guy in the show. She's kind of in like Kim Possible's alter ego or something like that. Um, but she's super cool. I always thought she was really cool. I was Kim Possible for Halloween one year. Um, and yeah, I, so I'm gonna go from this to this. Okay, and um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Poreless Putty Primer by e.l.f. Um, so I'm just gonna use my finger to apply this. Um, I already have my skincare stuff on my face. And yes, my hands are clean. <laughs> and you may have noticed I, all the pink is gone from my hair. I went to Puerto Rico for the first time. It was absolutely amazing. Such a great trip. Um, we went in the ocean there and I could do not the first time I went in, all the pink just came right out, which is crazy because like when I go in the shower, like the pink wouldn't come out, but the salt water just took it right out. All right, next I'm going to do, um, this is Milk Makeup, the bronzer, matte, it's their stick. Um, it's in the color Baked. And Shigo's got a pretty sculpted face as far as, you know, a cartoon goes. I'm just blending that in with this brush. Give the illusion that I have cheekbones. <laughs> I have a oval face, I learned. I watched this video on like face shapes and like makeup for face shapes. It was kind of interesting. It was very, I think, like peachy. She does like a lot of videos like that. It was pretty cool. Um, gotta make sure I don't have like a harsh line here. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 That works. Good enough. All right, um, now I'm gonna do, so CC cream, um, it's it. Um, I don't know what color, it's in fair. Yeah, because I have fair skin. All right, I'm gonna put that on. Okay, and I have this beauty blender. I'm gonna wet it. And blend away. I usually use my finger because I'm way too lazy to get a beauty blender out, but I'm trying to use a beauty blender more. I feel like, I don't know if anybody else has this issue, but I feel like beauty blenders, I struggle with like, being like precise and like getting it in there because I have pretty deep eye sockets with like, I don't know if anybody else has had the issue, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I mean. All right, that's good. Oh, um, I'm gonna do a little bit along the jawline area too. 
to once again kind of chisel this out. Okay, I know this looks harsh right now, but I think it will all work out in the end. Now I'm going to do setting powder. This is hourglass veil translucent setting powder. Um, holy shit, that's way too much. Alrighty. Looking fabulous. Okay, now it's time for the highlighter. Ah, I almost dropped it. Um, Morphe highlighter. High impact lit. The color is lit. I'm not calling this lit. Um, not that lame. Maybe. Okay. Okay, next is the hard part. I gotta do the eyeliner. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> okay. I have like partially hooded eyes where it's like, I have lots of room on my eyelid, but like, look, see that like folds in there. It's like, all these weird folds, kind of weird, but it makes it super hard. So like, look, there's that, that big fucked up weird gap. And then, yeah. I wish I had one of those eyes that were just, you could just like, like flip it on. I could even do it with my eyes closed. I wish my eyes were like that. Let me know if anybody else struggles with this. Okay. Eyeliner is like, but whatever. I don't care. Um, we're just gonna go with it. Alrighty. So next, I'm gonna do eyeshadow. She honestly doesn't have like a ton of makeup, but you know, we're kind of having some fun with this. So. All right, I'm gonna use the James Charles palette. Um, mine is very well loved. We're gonna make this dark. Cause she's kind of like punk, cyberpunk. Um, I'm gonna grab I need to clean my brushes. All right, I'm gonna use this brush. And I'm just gonna use some of the black, load it up, tap off the excess. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you over again. Don't make me change my mind. So I won't live to see. All right, I'm done. <laughs> if you decide to stop watching now, I don't blame you. All right. I don't know why I closed this. I'm not done with this. Um, now we're going to do... I'm just going to do this like champagne color on the lid. Right. 
tipo aqui. Now some mascara. Oh, I forgot a new tea. I hope it's not cold. All right. And now, some green tea. All right. <clears throat> now, obviously, she has black hair. No, I'm not dyeing my hair, but I do have a wig. And obviously, my eyebrows need to be black too. So, this is what we're doing. All right, um, I think I'm gonna do the wig and then lipstick and then outfit, of course. So, get ready for the best part. Better watch out. I might steal your heart. That's on better in my head. Here's the wig. It's a bit frizzy. I don't really know what to do about that, to be honest, because these like get so frizzy. I don't know how to, if anybody has an idea, drop it in the comment section. Because I don't really know how to like deal with that first. All right, here we go. I had the Kim Possible CD when I was a kid. Like her like music. It was like the, her like theme song on it. Call me, beat me, if you wanna reach me. I think that's the lyrics. There's that, and then there was the Naked Mole Rat song. If you don't know it, look it up. There was like a Ron Stoppable song, I think, too. I don't remember what else. Brady. Oh shit, she has a side part. Let's see if this will work. And now I have a side part. <laughs> I like to stray out of the 2000s now. All right. Lippity stickity time. I'm just regretting everything I'm saying out loud. Okay. So I'm gonna line my lips with this brown eyeliner. Now I have that stuck in my head. Cause then I will be the night that I will fall for you. Actually, I have like a TikTok of it stuck in my head where the guy sings exactly like that. I don't know why I always put the line there. Okay. 
my face looks weird? Why does my face look so weird? My face looks weird. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> I dropped something. All right. Take a sip of this before I put lipstick on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. oh no, <laughs> this looks weird. <gasps> oh, I guess I gotta let, like, let it dry. And I purposely did not add blush because she's got a very pale complexion and she doesn't really have blush. Mm, she's coming together. Quite nicely. Right. I don't really want to add falsies. Those are a bitch and a half. I'm probably just going to take this makeup off after I'm done. Because <laughs> it's kind of weird looking to walk around in. All right, outfit time. Okay, so I obviously don't have like she goes actual outfit, but this is kind of my interpretation of she goes streetwear during the summer because it's summer here. So, all right, back up. I don't know if you can see, but here are my shoes. Okay. Oh, he almost fell. <laughs> yeah, but here it is. Let me know what you think of the outfit, um, the hair and the makeup too, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had lots of fun making this, um, and let me know if you're a Kim Possible fan, and if you have any thoughts of like other things that I should cosplay, do, um, yeah, just let me know. Um, Thanks for watching. Okay. Well, please like and subscribe. Um.